Hey, what's up guys? The A12 jailbreak for iOS 12.4 is finally here. Yes, now we can finally jailbreak the iPhone XS, XS Max, and XR, as well as the 2018 iPad Pros. Anyway, now that you're jailbroken, I bet you're looking for stuff to install. Well, here are some of the best free tweaks that you can install right now on iOS 12.4 on your A12 devices. So first up, I don't know if you guys can see this, but up in the top right hand corner, I actually have my battery percentage right there instead of the battery icon. Now this is achieved entirely free with the tweak called battery percent X, but in this video, I'm actually using a paid tweak called Bazzy. And that tweak also adds this green indicator right at the top of my phone, also displaying my battery's percentage around the notch. All right, so for number two, this one is one of my favorites with Face ID devices. This one's called Fast Unlock X. So I'm gonna have to demo this with some B-roll. But basically when you have your device locked and you either tap to wake it or use the side button, whatever way, when you have Face ID enabled, when it normally recognizes your face, you'll have to swipe up from the bottom of the lock screen. But with this tweak enabled in contrast, when your face is recognized with Face ID, the phone will automatically take you to the home screen. No need to swipe. So it's just a quicker way to get into your phone without actually having to swipe up. You just look down at your phone and you're basically taken to the home screen. Now, while we're on the home screen and talking about this, one of my favorite tweaks is actually called Jumper. And it replaces these toggles at the bottom to whatever you want. It even allows you to set multiple icons down there at the bottom so you guys can have multiple shortcuts enabled if you guys want on both sides. So not only do I have my flashlight and camera, but I also have access to multiple of my applications. And it's just as easy as selecting the toggle and choosing what you wanna go into. So that one is called Jumper. Well, like I said, we're starting out simple. I can't forget about this tweak. This one is called bar emoji. If you guys can see right down here at the bottom bar, I actually have my frequently used emojis right there. And I also have translucent messages going on with my messages app, but we'll get into those other tweaks later in this video. Anyway, the one at the bottom that I wanted to show you guys for the iPhone 10, 10s, 10s Max, and 10R specifically is called bar emoji. All right, and when you have tweaks like bar emoji and things like that installed, one thing you're going to have to do is hide the home bar indicator. And that is done entirely by this tweak called hide bar X. As you guys can see, the home indicator right here is just absent. It's entirely gone. And so you either love or you hate it. I personally hate it and it's just a waste of space. So I got rid of that home bar right there. Another option that you guys can do is install Chroma home bar, which basically cycles through a bunch of colors. So if you guys want to have the home bar enabled, at least have it colorful and eye pleasing. So another awesome one for the iPhone XS's status bar is up in the top left where the time is. If you just tap on it, now it shows your date right there. And so if my iPhone will focus in time, so if I just tap on the time right there, it then displays the date up in the top left, and then we'll return back to the time. Anyway guys, that one's called Tap Time. It's just another awesome one that I think you guys should check out for the A12 devices. So if you guys want some awesome notch notifications, this one called Notification brings notifications around the iPhone's notch, just like that. And there's also a ton of other options that you can choose from as well. That is just the most common one and was actually inspired by a Reddit post. All right, so a great one that I like to have on the iPhone 10, and I'm sure I'm going to love this on the iPhone 10s and 10s Max as well, is called Floating Dock Plus. And I actually did a separate video on this as well, but as you guys can see, it brings the iPad style dock to the iPhone. Now, some of the awesome things about this is there's also dock gestures. So if you swipe to the left, that brings up your control center just like that. If you swipe to the right, that actually brings you back to the the lock screen and then if you swipe up it enters multitasking just like that and again this one is also called iPad style switcher I believe we'll get into some of these other tweaks later in this video but floating dock plus is an awesome one to have on the iPhone 10 and if you guys notice the dock is actually currently dark and that's achieved by Noctis 12 so let's go ahead and talk about some dark mode tweaks Noctis is awesome because it not only darkens like your widgets, your notifications, I think even in the control center now, as you guys can see a lot of the toggles like my volume and brightness toggles are actually dark as well. And this is all achieved with one tweak. And the cool thing is there's actually a little button right here. Uh, 
if you guys can see that one that changed right down there, um, to toggle this on and off. So with it toggled off, you're immediately back to like light mode or just regular, but then you can just enter the control center and toggle on dark mode. And the really cool thing is, is let me just go ahead and toggle it back on real fast. The really cool thing is here, um, when you toggle this for Noctis, it also toggles Eclipse. So Eclipse 12 or Eclipse for iOS 12, I'll have it linked right here. I forget exactly what they call this, but this is what brings dark mode to a lot of the stock and third-party applications like the settings app. And this is a great one for those OLED displays. Anyway, guys, this is just an example. We actually did a video as well, entirely dedicated to dark mode tweaks, but Eclipse X as well as uh, Noctis 12, those are two of my go-tos that I think you guys should definitely check out on the latest devices. All right, so let's move on. One of the very last ones that I wanted to bring up as far as just iPhone XS or just OLED dark mode specific tweaks is called Moonshine. Now this basically brings the Apple Watch charging indicator as well as the nightstand mode to the iPhone. And this looks absolutely incredible. The nightstand mode is awesome. So when you're charging at night, you have a quick glance at your iPhone's time and charging status and notifications and things like that. Now there's also a tweak called Symperion, which brings this always on display to your iPhone. But in my opinion, it's pretty buggy and it also drains the battery like no other because you have pixels on your phone on all of the time. But where I like moonshine in contrast is that this nightstand mode only activates when it's charging and plugged in. Anyway guys, it looks absolutely fantastic. So definitely check out this tweak as well. So those are some of the tweaks that I thought are just going to be absolutely incredible for the iPhone XS and XS Max and any device with Face ID or an OLED display. So. For the second part of this video, let's move on and just talk about some of my favorite tweaks, my go-to tweaks that I really like to install, that I feel just add a lot of functionality or just look freaking sweet on just all iPhones. So definitely check these out too. So one of my favorites is called Jellyfish, which brings this awesome lock screen right here. It basically rearranges the time and date and weather indicators. So it looks something like that. Again, this one is paid, but I think it looks sweet. The colors of the time and date actually dynamically update depending on the wallpaper that you currently have. Of course, this video wouldn't be complete without mentioning Better CCXI, which brings this awesome control center to the iPhone 10, XS, XS Max, and XR. Basically redesigns the all the platters in the control center, and I think it just looks absolutely fantastic. And if you guys notice this platter right here in the bottom left, this one is actually called Power Module. And when you expand it, it looks something like that. It's a very quick and easy way to perform resprings, enter safe mode, entirely reboot your phone, and it's located directly within the control center. And that one's actually entirely free. So definitely check out Power Module. Another great one is called Color Banners 2, which basically colorizes all of your notifications based on the app's default color. So I don't have too much variety going on here, but as you guys can see, a lot of my tweets are now blue. The notification from Pokemon Go is actually like a dark blue, and these are dynamic updated. So if I got one from YouTube, which is typically red, then the notification would be red as well. I think that looks super sweet, especially with the iOS 12 stacked notifications. So a great tweak to create a custom home screen layout is called Boxy 3. You basically can choose how many icons you want in your grid. So I think I have a four by eight setup going on. And then you can use these controls right here on screen to adjust their position on the home screen. So this one is a bit of a throwback, but it actually works perfectly fine on iOS 12. This one is called Translucent Messages, and it basically takes the background wallpaper of your iPhone and blurs it and then puts it in the background of your messages threads, as well as directly within an actual message thread. So if I just open up one for myself, that's an example of what it can look like. So I briefly mentioned this one earlier, but again, this one is called Translucent Messages. So another thing that I think you guys should fix right off the bat with jailbreaking is the annoying volume HUD on stock iOS. Now, two of my favorites are either Meliore, which I think is entirely free, 
Uh, we have Video HUD, which is again entirely free, or Ultrasound is another great one. Right now, I think I have Meliore installed to place uh, my volume HUD indicator right at the top instead of directly in the center of my screen. So that one is an awesome one and one thing that you guys definitely should do right after jailbreaking. So I'm sure a lot of you have seen by now that I have a bunch of stuff going on in the background on my home screen. These widgets, like the fluid widget where you can kind of swipe around just like that, um, that and the floating stars, as well as pretty much any other widget that you want on your home or lock screen can be achieved with Zen HTML. And this widget that I currently have installed is called Fluid Widget, and I'll link that down below as well. So I currently don't have any enabled, but if you guys want custom themes on your phone, the best theming application or tweak is called Snowboard. Definitely use that to download themes. My favorite is Lotus. I currently, like I said, I don't have any theme currently on my phone, but I definitely, I always use Snowboard if I'm installing any type of custom icon theme on my device. But one thing I do have going on is I have no icon labels, no page dot indicators or anything like that, and my home screen just looks really clean. Well, that is achieved entirely by one tweak called Clean Home Screen. Again, just kind of quality of life tweaks. This one right here is called Small Surrey, which basically just replaces the full screen Surrey interface to this very nice and tidy, super small Surrey right at the top. And as well as Surrey, another great one by the same developer is actually called Call Bar, which again, replaces the entire full screen interface of the incoming phone or outgoing phone calls to this tiny little bar at the top. Lastly, some people just like their devices to feel really super fast. And I know the iPhone XS, XS Max, XR, and the 2018 iPad Pros have the best processor out there on the market to make your iPhones feel super fast. But one of the most annoying things with stock iOS is the default animation speed. And these super sluggish and slow animations can make your device feel super slow and sluggish. So with animations be fast, you can make your animation transition speed be instantaneous. So your newest devices can feel super fast like they should. Anyway, for the very last one, again, just kind of nitpicking here. I think I showed you guys this earlier in this video. This one's called iPad Grid Switcher, and I think it's just an awesome one. Basically adds more applications in your multitasking pane for you guys to choose from. Anyway, I think that one looks super awesome and fits the iPhone XS, and I'm sure it's going to fit the iPhone XS Max screen size perfectly fine as well. Anyway, that's a great one. I'll end you guys on one last note. This one's super minor, but we've covered this in past videos and I've come to like it a lot. And it's called Pencil Charging Indicator. And this basically brings the iPad's Apple Pencil, when you connect it, it brings that little charging notification to your charging notification on your iPhone. So when you actually plug your iPhone into a power source, then you get that little nice indicator right there, letting you guys know that your iPhone is charging. And this works perfectly fine with Moonshine as well. I think they work perfectly fine together, but either or, they both look great. Anyway, if you guys enjoy this video, definitely like, comment, and subscribe before you head out. Again, stay tuned for future jailbreak updates as well as top tweak videos directly from us here on the channel. Anyway guys, until next time, this is Tony, signing out.